today, but the economy might not be the only thing that makes it tough. You could be making it worse. Our real estate expert, TJ Larson, is here with the five biggest mistakes home sellers make. Right. Welcome. Nice to see you, my friend. And uh, boy, I tell you, a lot of people are going through this right now, making the mistakes. Huh? They are. They're struggling. And with this market, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Let's start off with the first one, overpricing and underpricing your home. Uh, we listed that at the beginning because that is the worst mistake that you can make. Obviously, underpricing a home, you're going to leave money on the table. Mm -hmm. But if you overprice the home, it's going to become stale on the market. You're ultimately going to have to reduce that price lower than fair market value in order to sell it. So in that case, you're going to leave money on the table as well. Wow. So trust your realtor. Get the best advice. Don't let the realtor come in and do what I call is buying a listing. You interview three realtors. Two tell you what the fair market comparables are. The third says, yeah, I agree with you. $400,000 oh, sounds okay. great. Okay. And so don't let them let you buy the listing or have them buy the listing from you. So get the right price at the beginning. I promise you, you will get the best price if you do that. It's going to be something palatable that the market will stand and someone will actually buy your home. That's right. Too many upgrades. I always heard that upgrades were... Are terrific to have but you can have too many of them well sure you can because you know you're setting this up so that you can sell your home you're spending money in order to make money if you spend too much money on the home you're going to overspend for that you want to uh, upgrade it within reasonable standards for your neighborhood mm -hmm. you know if you're living in a million dollar neighborhood then you may, to have, may need to have a specific custom kitchen if you're living in a two hundred thousand dollar neighborhood the kitchen should reflect that so spend the appropriate amount don't put more money into your home then you're going to get out of your home the for sale by owner yeah probably not the best idea well statistics show that it's not the best idea about 13 percent of our market is made up of for sale by owner homes uh, and what we see is the median sales price of a for sale by owner versus an agent assisted sale mm -hmm. 153 on a median price for a for sale by owner 211,000 on an agent assisted mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. You're going to save some money on some commissions. I think you're probably going to give it up in that huge spread between those two numbers. Uh, also, with a for sale by owner, here are five shortcomings that they have. Um, fail to sell within a planned and specific amount of time. That's usually where, what comes up first. Uh, second, they fail to price the home right. We talked about that mm -hmm. as, the, as the first. Preparing the home for sale. Don't get good advice as far as how to prepare it. Properly execute contract documents. And the fifth reason, they don't have enough time to devote to all aspects of selling the home. It's not a part-time job. You need a professional to do that. Absolutely. Ignoring a realtor's advice. You're paying them for the advice. <laughs> you know, do your due diligence at the very beginning. Talk to the realtor. Make sure that they have experience, that they have credentials, that they have testimonials. If you do your due diligence, if you find the right realtor, and if you trust that realtor, why in the world wouldn't you listen to their expert advice? The same as you listen to your doctor, the same as you listen to your attorney. And finally, failure to stage the home. And some, some homes, it's more important to stage than other homes. You know, I use the example of a huge, we've got some 2,000 square foot lofts that we sell, and they have no demising walls inside the homes. Those are imperative that we stage those, because mm -hmm. when somebody goes in, it's hard for them to figure out and conceive where their furniture is going to be. Mm -hmm. So take a look at your home. Find out whether or not you need to spend the money to stage it appropriately with furniture. At a minimum, though, just like washing your car when you go to sell it, let's make sure that the cosmetic touches are in place. If you need to steam clean the carpets, do it. If you need to spruce up the landscaping, do it. If you need to paint, do that. As always, great advice. If you have any real estate needs, this is the guy to talk to. TJ Larson, mytownhome.com. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate Thank you. It.